Today we're at the Crystal Springs Rhododendron Garden and we're reading the week that led to Easter. Hosanna, sing to Christ the King, crowd shouted as he came. They had heard the many stories, how he healed the sick and lame. Jerusalem was crowded, the Passover had begun, a time to remember Egypt and to have a little fun. There's Jesus riding in the donkey. The twelve disciples led the way to the upper room where Jesus shared his final meal. He knew his life was doomed. He told them that his life would end and that he would be betrayed. He shared his bread and wine with them, then bowed his head and prayed. Jesus asked to be remembered for the sins he'd take away. He told them of God's final plan and that he could not stay. Then he prayed to God to guide him, to give strength along the way, for he understood the suffering and the price that he must pay. The leaders and the guards were waiting to take him away from town. They would nail him to a wooden cross, place on his head a thorny crown. They had turned the crowd against him, said, he's not God's son to fear. And the crowd yelled, crucify him. Jesus did not shed a tear. The sky turned black and thunder rolled. Jesus said his final words, please forgive them, Father. It is finished, they then heard. Friends sealed him in a cold, dark cave with a big stone for a door. Not many came to see him for the crowds. They cared no more. Though God's plan now seemed completed to the people here on earth, Christ's death was just the beginning, a chance for our rebirth. For when Jesus died, he died to save all people great and small. He took our sins away from us. T'was the greatest gift of all. He rose again on Easter day. The people were amazed, for God's plan now was understood. They gave their love and praise. Jesus is still alive today. He reigns in heaven above. He forgives us and he guides us and fills our hearts with love.